Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and I'm super excited uh, about this video because uh, in this video I'm going to discuss about what should you know before learning the API testing, guys. This is one of the important questions that been asked many times from me, and I'm going to give you my few reasons why what you should know before learning the API testing. So stay tuned and let's get started. All right, guys. So uh, these are the my nine, or uh, you can say eight, or I will give you a few more. Uh, reasons or well, means basically not reasons these are like these are the things that you should know before learning the api but uh if you don't know about it uh, i'm gonna discuss it even and uh, because we are uh, but i believe is that you should start with as a beginner means if you are a beginner don't worry but uh, these are the things if you have it's good to have all right guys so the first thing is that uh, what you need to do is that you need to know about little bit about the web services and especially about the services like soap and rest and the major difference between them so if you don't know about it uh we have certain inter api testing interview questions and answer series we have uh, i have extensively discussed about the soap and rest and i will uh especially point you towards that that you should watch those tutorials right and uh, the second important thing is that you need to know about uh while uh, before learning the API testing is that you should know about what is JSON and what is XML. So JSON is a guide. Uh, JSON is basically JavaScript object notation, which is kind of a similar to key value pairs information where one services can contact to any other service using this JSON uh, messages, right? Similarly, we have XML message XML. Uh, it's a markup language which basically allows you to communicate between two services on the same kind of a structure. So this thing also I have covered in my other tutorials all right so uh, you sh you should have a basic understanding about the web services the description language which is uh, WSDL and uh, if you know about little bit about the WSDL it's enough because you don't uh, and so uh, WSDL if I tell you about it's a kind of a description language which basically allows you to send a particular set of data in a particular format from client to server so that server can understand what exactly is coming to it right so for example if i send some garbage to server he cannot understand until they have some communication or until they are agreeing or certain kind of a language so this is what the language is web service is descriptive language right all right so uh, the fourth point here is that you should know a little bit about the api communications and what is like uh, what is envelope what is header what is body and what are the different kind of parameters used all right so if you don't know about it but we are going to discuss especially in the few uh, videos related to api testing but uh, i would suggest you to know more about them especially related to headers and the parameters right so uh, let's move on to next one which is the fifth point is that uh, basically you should know a little bit or uh, i would suggest you to before learning the api testing just go and uh, try certain api requests like get port get and post request using these tools postman and uh, you can install the postman using get uh, let me give you a uh, link it's a guest postman and uh, if you are on any uh, operating system you'll get the option to download the app and i would suggest to try it out the app and just try to understand how it works and what kind of request it's sending all right so and that's so uh, the sixth point is that you should know about the what is api request and what should be there in the response means what kind of HTTP, what is the http request and what is the http response and what are things are coming especially when we are sending the request uh, what kind of parameter we are sending what kind of headers we are sending what kind of body we are sending what kind of uh, endpoints we are using basically i mean to say what kind of methods we are using so that's what in the http request and after sending the request what we are getting for example, in the when we are sending a get request, we are getting certain body, we are getting some headers, we are getting some STBP hosts. So you should uh, so you should know about it a little bit about it. All right, and you sh uh, I would suggest you to have a look at these methods, especially the STBP methods like get, put, post, patch, trace, options, connect, and delete. Uh, I have covered uh, them extensively or in depth in few videos and i will point it out and definitely going to link them in the description all right so just do check it out and uh, you should know more about the http status code i'm going to give you one ex one website which is i really like it's rest full api uh, let me find it out for you especially uh, yeah this one and just go to http code 
and this is the awesome site for learning about the stpp status code and i would suggest you to go through them because uh, this, there are like five series first one is informational uh, second one is success message 300 series is reductional and 400 is client server 500 is basically server errors so these are major uh, major major things that you should know before starting the api testing but trust me guys if you don't know much of them means uh, if you don't Uh, like all of them even you can start the learning the api testing just watch out my certain tutorials and just follow the course or so you will get to know more about it so all right guys so that's what i wanted to tell you about in this video and uh, thanks a lot and uh, let me open my yes uh, so thanks a lot for watching and uh, do let me know in the comments means what you think that you should know before learning the api api test testing or if you are already doing the api testing what uh what are the points that you know uh, you know right now that you didn't know before learning the api testing right so i'm i will be like very uh, excited to know more, more about these comments all right do comment guys and uh, i feel definitely going to read every comment and reply to every comment and uh, if you have any question just contact me at this contact uh, at the testingacademy.com and don't forget to comment and like share and comment and thanks a lot and it's your host pramod and have a nice day bye